and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Perfect Genetics Challenge. We're here with Damien, Damien and his cotton candy hair himself. <laughs> um, so in the last one we were working out and I think that we're going to try and complete that this time. Uh, I have Marina working on researching some alchemy and uh, Spencer is talking with June Rake and trying to become friends with her. And then we have Adeline who's at home playing um, chess and then she's going to do her homework and answer her phone, I guess. Um, and then we have Little Man playing with the xylophone. Now, I can't remember if Brent is done playing with the xylophone or if he's just playing with it for fun um, or if he's building skills. I don't really remember. I think he's done, to be honest. Um, which is fine. He can also use the potty chair since he kind of needs to do that. And then he can actually play with the blocks for a while. Alright, she's over here. She is just having a blast. Um, it's four. I don't think anyone else... I don't care what anyone else thinks. I think you're hot. Whoa. Alright, um... So, she wants to play in the ocean, find a rock, and buy a Benilda coffin. Uh, I'm going to tell her to stop doing this so she can get her homework done, since it's like 7.30 at night almost. And when she's done, she can go ahead and eat some... Actually, Mom needs to make up some dinner. She can go ahead and serve dinner, make up some... Make up some macaroni and cheese. Why not? Alright, he is receiving a text from Devin Ashton. Um... He needs to improve. Oh, yeah. He was teaching Spencer how to drive. Is Spencer ready to do this again? Uh, maybe and maybe not. All right. Well, you know what we can do? Um, hmm. I don't really know what to have him do. I guess we just wait for him to be done talking with this girl. So just go here for a second. Uh, yeah, go ahead and attend the party, actually. He's all excited about it, man. Alright, um... Wow, you guys definitely didn't hit it off as well as I thought you had. Give her a high five. Go ahead and get to know her. You can do some magic with her. Obviously a witch. Use the exercise. Ask about her age. Right in her day. Okay, there we go. And we're going to go with you since you are on your way to the party. We want to check it out. See what it's like. We might be able to find something fun to do there. Who knows? Um, I can't promise that we can, but I can hope, only hope that we do. So, um, he's feeling very lucky because I think he's got the, oh no, from a spell. Got you. It's the, the luck trait, the good luck. I don't know. Good luck charm, that's what it is. Man. Alright, um, where are we having this party? Where does Devin Ashton live? Oh, he lives in this apartment building. Okay. Is that, like, somebody's dead body? Oh, no. It's a rock. Okay. I thought it was, like, a vampire's ashes on the ground. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of creeping me out a little bit. Alright. Let's go in here. I don't know. I'm guessing he lives upstairs. Yeah, he lives right here. Alright, well, this isn't a bad house, I guess. It's not that bad. I do kind of like the kitchen a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not horrible. Um... I don't know what he was just about to do, but whatever he was about to do, it's done and over with now. Everyone's leaving, so I'm guessing the party's over and we missed it. I have no idea. I thought we just got the text message from the guy, but maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I really can't see that rock. I think it's gone now. I don't think it's there anymore, unfortunately. Um, Alright, let's see. You need to actually go home, and you need to befriend three celebrities. Is Devin Ashton a... Oh, he's already your friend, so that's not going to help. Um, you might as well just go home, too. We'll just meet everyone back at home, and it'll be a lot easier. 
All right, Mama's making up that macaroni and cheese, and little man, he can play with the blocks for a while. What is she up to? Did you finish your homework, crazy lady? Yes, you did. Okay. Um, but you did not eat yet. Okay, let's get you into the bathroom, I guess, and take care of your bathroom needs. Just use, you can clean the shower for your mom, and then shower... And that'll be good. He's on his way home. He actually really needs the bathroom as well. So use, shower, and we'll go from there. And when you get here, I'm going to have you put... Mm, put Brett in the high chair, please. Okay. That should work. And Marina should have this done soon so everyone can grab a bowl of it. Because everyone is hungry. Alright. Mom. You go ahead and grab a bowl. When you're done, you can grab a bowl. When you're done, grab a bowl. And Dad, once you get done taking care of Brent, uh, you can grab a bowl as well. Alright, go ahead and give him baby food, and then grab a bowl. Alright, and then mom can go ahead and put Brent in his crib when she's done eating. <clears throat> and that should be fine. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Mom, why don't you empty this while we wait for Brent to finish? And then you can go ahead and put away the leftovers. And Dad, you're going to clean up? Okay. And then I'm going to have you unclog this. Alright, and when she's done eating, she can go to sleep, and he can go to sleep, because he's, like, exhausted, poor kid. Alright. Dad, go ahead and clean this. Unclog this. Clean that. Then you can use, or use shower, and then I'll let you go to sleep. Mom, you can put Brent in the crib. And then I'm going to let mom use this bathroom. And then she can go upstairs and go to bed. There. That gets everyone pretty much taken care of. Actually, before dad goes to bed, I'm going to ask him to clean up the dishes. And then he can... He can go to sleep. He's not exhausted yet, so I think he's okay. All right, there we go, clean the shower, and the kids are asleep, which is great. And he should be falling asleep soon, because he is pretty exhausted as well, so it shouldn't be that big of a of an issue. Full shrunk. Okay. I don't know why he's crying. Alright, it looks like they're both headed off to bed. 
Oh no, he's gonna clean up the two dishes first. But Mama's headed off to bed anyways. And it sounds like he fell asleep, and he did. And Dad, yeah, we're pretty good. I think tomorrow we're gonna head to the festival because, I mean, why not? We don't have anything better to do with our lives. And I want to kind of take the kids out and stuff. And I want to get a family photo of everyone. So I think that's why we're gonna we're gonna head out there. All right, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut out while they're sleeping, and I'll be back when they're getting up for their day. Be back in just a second. All right, well, Mom is getting up because she is fully rested, and the first thing I'm going to let her do, let's see, he's going to be sleeping for a little bit, so I'm going to have Mom go downstairs. She's going to use and shower since she's getting up first. She might as well take care of her bathroom needs, Um, and then I'm going to have her come upstairs, and then she can hold um, Brent. Now, I looked at everyone's age and how close they are to aging up. It looks like Brent and Adeline will be aging up tomorrow, both. And so we'll have a little bit of a shared birthday, which I think will be kind of cute. Dad is just about awake as well. So he's going to come down, clean, use, shower. And then I'm going to let him eat some of the apple pancakes that are in there. Um... The children are the ones that are going to be sleeping the latest. Mom and Dad went to bed late. 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 Last. Oh, my goodness. Whew. Couldn't get that out. <laughs> they went to bed last, but are the first ones up. But that's okay because I was scared they were going to sleep for a long time. And this way, they're not going to sleep very long at all, which is good. Because that means that we can get to the festival pretty earlier in the day. And we won't have to wait so long. All right. I'm going to let you clean, use, and shower. And then I'm going to let you eat some of the waffles. And when mom picks up that, picks up Brent, I'm going to have her put him in the high chair and she's actually going to take care of all that. First though, we're going to change his diaper. We are going to change his outfit just every day. And then we're going to put him in the high chair. All right, put Brent in the high chair. And I'll take care of his needs. Okay. All right, so I don't want to stay at the festival all day. I just want to stay for a couple of hours at least. All right, give him baby food, and you can eat some of the waffles. And he's going to come down over, use, take a shower, and then he will eat some of the apple pancakes. There. That gets that taken care of. Uh, when we're when dad's done, he's gonna come over and accept gifts from a friend. And when mom is done, she's gonna go ahead and let Brent out. And then he can go use the bathroom and play with some toys until we are ready to leave. Oh. I don't know if she's going to be able to finish Teach Spencer to drive because uh, Dad's doing it, but we'll have to wait and see what we can come up with. Is the radio, is the stereo broken? Oh, it totally is. Okay, let's repair that. I don't know. How high is your handiness? Four. Mm, you should be okay, but you might get electrocuted. I'm not 100% sure. Normally until like five, they have like a small chance. Well, like one, they have a high chance, but. All right, and mom, you clean that up. Whew, almost didn't click on him. Okay, so this is from Froggy87. It's a message from the game. You want to take it here. We just got 1,250 simoleons. Thank you so much. This family absolutely needs money. They are pretty broke. I mean, they have money in their household funds, but we're going to need a bigger house. So, thanks. For the 1,250 simoleons for Damien in my uh, perfect genetics LP. Okay. Let's go ahead and copy that. 
All right, moving up. Oh, I hate that the arrow doesn't move it. This is from Amy Lewis 397. It's a message from the game. Go ahead and take it here. We just got 750 more simoleons, so thank you so much for that. Like I said, we can absolutely use it for sure. All right, paste that and do 750. All right, so thank you so much for that. Um, this is from Hockey Bell. It says, here's another one. All right, thank you so much for the swinging light. Uh, I'm sure we can always use more lights, so. All right, so paste and put swinging light. Thank you so much for that. Moving up, we've got a gift from, hmm, the Sims fan 96 it says, I just want to tell you that your LPs are so awesome and I love watching them. Oh, well, thank you so much for saying that. I hope this helps out in your challenges, Cody. Well, thanks, Cody, and thank you for the flask of sleep. I guess if we want to knock someone out, <laughs> we can totally do that. So thank you so much for that. Let me go ahead and send you back a gift. I will send you back the Supernatural since that's what you sent to us. And we'll put flask of sleep. There we go. So thank you so much for that. Moving up, we have one from Ico. Uh, it says, haven't been able to catch a stream lately. Sorry. Hope life is going well and hope to turn in soon. That's okay. I actually just started streaming a couple weeks ago, so you haven't missed very much. Um, I did take some time off from doing it, so um, I look forward to seeing you again in the streams. And thank you so much for the Monitor Share Floor Lamp. Let me go ahead and send you back a gift. And I'm going to put Floor Lamp. Alright, this is from 987654614. It's a message from the game. You want to take it here? We just got the Medusa victim, so thank you so much for that. And I am all out of gifts. I do apologize, but. I hope you guys can understand. This is from Autumn Carr. It says, thanks for the 750 Smolians for Bunny and my perfect genetics. You're so very welcome. What is your YouTube name so I can check out your LP? Mm, if I don't send you back a message, you're not going to know my YouTube. So I'm going to hold off on this and actually just so that I can write you back and tell you what my YouTube name is. Since you asked me a question, I'll try and respond. Um, this is from Sammy the Simmer. It's a message from the game. Go on a ticket here. We just got 400 more simoleons. Thank you so much for that. And this is from Nilos, Nilos Sun. It says, you're very welcome. Thank you for the small ivy. Also, thank you for letting me know that you can die from eating the jelly bean tree. Yes, that is so true. Um, I'm surprised you didn't know. But, yeah, you have a, I think it's like a 20% no, I don't think it's 20. I think it's like a 10% chance that you're going to die from that little bean. But there is one that will kill you. So um, if you watch my hybrid baby, you will see that when they eat from the jelly bean bush, they do have quite a chance of dying. And the more that they eat from it, the higher the risk of dying from it is. So be very careful, especially when you put it out and you have high free will on because they will tend to go over and eat from it on their own. So just be very careful, <laughs> but you're so very welcome, and thank you for the no snooze alarm clock. Um, this is from Lucas Polly. It says, for any LP for Chip. For Chip? What? <laughs> I think you mean from Chip. I'm hoping anyways. Um, but thank you so much, and thank you for... Oh my goodness, you gave us a van. Thank you so much. Uh, we can absolutely use this, because then once... Our little man learns to drive Spencer. He can he can have his own car. So thank you so much for that. And that is it for gifts today. Okay, Mom. Clean up the plate, please. And you are going to go use the pate. And you can play with the blocks. Dad is fixing the stereo, which is great. Yeah, we have this man. I think he has a car, which is already a van. And I'll just put this in Mom's inventory and then I'll put the other one out in the garage and then it can become Spencer's and then hopefully by the time that we have um, we're ready for 
what's her face to learn to drive. You guys will have sent us another. <laughs> you guys are just going to supply this family with cars. <laughs> Which is amazing. Um, let's see. Do we need... Okay, I'm going to get rid of the Medusa to my thank you so much. But the money is really amazing for that. Uh, we'll put the alarm clock up here. So, come on. Stop going up to and down to. Uh, we'll put the alarm clock on here. Because then mom and dad can have each their own. We can put this. Do we have a table, like a decoration table down here? Like an end table or something? We do, we, but we already got the thing on it. So I'm going to say we sell this. And the lamp, I don't really think we need the lamp. So I'm going to sell this well. But I do thank you all for all the gifts. It means a lot. And we're up to 12575 I don't know if I want to build a house or if I just want to buy a house. I'm not really 100% sure yet because it's really hard to decide what I want to do when um, it it's not like Bridgeport has a lot of like big family homes. So I'm not 100% sure. I might build them a house, which I think would be kind of cool, like a very modern-y house over in the very rich area. Um, and just let them like live over there. But like I said, I'm not 100% sure yet. So you want to become best friends with your dad? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> you want to become friends with June. So you should totally, um, we should totally try and get her to meet us out. He's a heinous level five. Um, it's pressing for Damien to have made it far without being electrocuted fatally. Not everyone is quite as gifted with a hammer, but it's still a few bolts, washers, and power tools to the top. And she's made up to alchemy level four, so that's pretty good. All right, so he actually finished that. It's all repaired. It totally is. Good job. All right, what does he need for work? He needs celebrity cast members and writing. Do we have a computer? I don't think we have a computer. This is horrible. Alright, well, cast members, we can talk with just our coworkers, and it should be okay. So go ahead and chat. Um, we'll chat with this guy, which is our boss. We'll chat with her. We'll chat with this old man. He played none. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, clean up your plate, please. And you can go here for just a second. Damien, are you not going to answer your phone? Alright, answer that phone. She learned the large and in charge recipe. That's pretty good. Jeffrey Cook would like to chat. Sure, we can chat with Jeffrey Cook. I don't know who it is, but sure. She also learned the skill booster. Who's Jeffrey Cook? Oh. Hi, I don't know who you is, but hello. <laughs> um, Alright, try chatting. Chatting chatting and chatting. Alright, why don't you be nice to your little sister and be friendly with her. Ask her about her day. Um, celebrity gossip. Whoa. Uh, do something magic with her. Wow, you guys have no relationship. That's horrible. Okay. Um, play, play rock, paper, scissors. Um... Shaka bra. <laughs> and we'll see what we can do from there. Essence of magic. <laughs> Did you hear that? Damien Souls is the athletic skill. Well, it is your father's, so I'd hope that they would know. Okay, mom. Go ahead and empty this, and then you're going to pick up your son. Pick up Brent. Okay, then you can be funny, make a silly face, you can tell a funny story. He also wants to go to prom. I don't know when prom is, but I'm sure it's probably coming up. Okay. Shaka! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. Um... Compliment your sister. I mean, that's a nice thing to do. Um, use Shaka Bra again. They love Shaka Bra. Uh, share a secret with her. Stop playing with the table so your mom can pick you up. We're ready to go when everyone's done. You can talk about the rain. That might bore her to 
deaf, but still, we can try. Alright. After he's done on that call, we'll talk to the other people when we get there. Alright, Mom. Go ahead and go here. Look at her, she's like, no! I don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh no. Okay, are we all ready to go? Get off of the phone, Damien. Your children are ready to go to the festival. It's raining. I hate this. Maybe we should go on a different day. Maybe we should go someplace indoors. I don't really think there's an indoors place, but we could totally look for one. You know what I've thought about making in this game? It's like an indoors park where it's like, um, not under the domes, but like an actual like indoors park that has like the, like the jungle gym and everything, everything in it. But you wouldn't get hit by the rain all the time, so you could actually take your kids out when you need to. Uh, let's take everyone with us. We're gonna go to the festival, but I don't know if we're gonna stay very long. Where is everyone? Oh, <laughs> they're just over there like weirdos. <laughs> Get in there out of the rain! <laughs> so mom, with the baby, stands out there for days. Get in, child. Get in, Adeline. Adeline! <laughs> Adeline takes the front seat and makes her mom sit in the back. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's too funny. I like having my own car. I think it goes much faster around Bridgeport, especially. Okay, so we're here at the festivals. What do we want to do? The first thing I think we should do is take our photo together, because that's pretty important. Take a greeting card photo with Adeline, Brent, Marina, and Spencer. Go! Run for your money! <laughs> okay. Go ahead and get this done, folks. Everyone, come on. Stop dilly-dallying over there, Mom, with the baby. Alright, Spencer. Good job. Good job, Adeline. Marina, you're taking forever. Speed her up. She's taking too long. And she had to walk to this side, too. She just had to. Okay. Let's see. Snap it. Yes, no, maybe so. Oh, there we go. Okay, share in the wall. Oh, that's really cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, the Solace greeting card. Bam. There you go. You guys can see it. You guys can check it out. Alright, I am going to go ahead and let Dad harvest a few pumpkins. So when we go home tonight, we can carve some pumpkinos. We need to get some really cute pumpkins carved. Um, I really like this festival area, especially because... Um, they all have something that they can do. Oh, poor baby. He has to get put on the ground in the rain. Well, he can play with Puzzle. Puzzle will keep him company. It's a good thing the rain doesn't bother him because, honestly, he, the other, it bothers everyone else. I don't even think he gets the wet mood lit. Or the soaked. What is it? Soaked. Oh, is he scared? He gets scared. I just need uh, four pumpkins, so two more and we'll be good. Is everyone going to make it out okay? Oh, no. Marina peed herself. She's peeing herself. She got so scared. <laughs> Leave it up to the mom to pee herself. <laughs> Okay, you can come over here and play on the playground. And I'm going to let you... What do I want to let you do? What do I want to let you do? Um, Why don't you go swing? And we will let mom... Hmm... Is there anything we have to teach him? 
No, I didn't think so. All right, well, she's peed herself a few times now, so she's pretty sinky. All right, how are you doing, my friend? Actually, you know what? Mom could go dumpster diving if she can dumpster dive in this. Nope, she can't. Never mind. Must not be one that she can dumpster dive in. Oh, but she can actually come over here and collect these. Cause those are actually pretty rare, I think. Make us a little bit of money to sell them. Oh, she's a new umbrella. Speaking of umbrellas, I need to pick up umbrellas for everyone. While we're here, I will do so. Okay, you're good. We got four. 243 simoleons for that. That's pretty good. Okay, uh, mom, now that you are done, you have how many? Five. Can you give your mom your tokens, please? You guys only have 15 tokens. All right, well, we're going to redeem some of our festival tickets and see how many umbrellas we can pick up. Ooh, we could all order from the uh, truck if we wanted to. She's pushing her older brother up. I'm really confused. <laughs> Why is the little girl pushing her t teen brother on the swings? I will never know. All right, so we need um, some new umbrellas, but we didn't have quite enough tokens. All right, he wants to carve a pumpkin, so we will do that. She wants to find a rock. Okay, all right. We might be able to find one here. Um, and that is my alarm. Gotcha. All right, well, I just wanted to try and find a rock. Is there any rocks around? No? Really? I guess so. Okay. Um... A lot of times the spawning places are here, but I think it's more flowers now that it's like the festival lot, which is kind of sad, but I'm sure we can find her rock, no problem. So that is probably where I'm going to end it for today. We've got pretty much through our, oh wait, I want to see if he can make it out alive through this. Um, we pretty much made it through, he just walks out like it was no problem. We pretty much made it through the next day and we finished pretty much here at the festival. I think when we come back, we're going to take everyone over to the gym for a second, let dad work out, mom take a shower, and these two can just kind of hang out together still, and Brent can do whatever he wants. We might take them out to eat dinner, take them out to a movie, and then take most of them home, uh, but I want dad to finish teaching Spencer to drive, and I want Adeline to try and find the rock. I want her to play in the ocean tomorrow maybe sunday we can all go to the ocean together and i want her to try and find these butterflies so that's probably what we're going to be working in the next one if you guys enjoyed this please don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel um in the description below there's a donation link if you want to donate to the channel along with things like the links to my facebook fan page my twitter and my twitch so definitely check those out and i will talk to you guys in my very next one bye guys